In today's video, I wanted to share my bridal skincare prep for um, oily skin. This prep is not just for brides, but can be used uh, for all oily skin beauties. So I like to start when a bride books with me. I always send an intake form to get a better understanding of their daily skincare routine. Um, I currently updated that intake form. Instead of one, I broke it up into two forms, a skincare and a makeup. Um, let's go over the skincare intake form. This um, form asks for, you know, their general info. Are they allergic to any products? What is their skin type? Um, any concerns they may have, and then I ask for their daily uh, skincare routine. Again, I like having an understanding of how my brides uh, prep their skin. Most importantly, what products they use. Um, during our corresponding, I put together a personalized bridal skincare regimen uh, for my brides to utilize leading up to their uh, preview. Um, having a personalized skincare regimen for my brides helps with any concerns they may have, as well as um, adding new steps and products to incorporate into their daily skincare routine. Um, I like to start off with just a few new products. Um, that way it's not too much on the skin. So let's talk about oily skin. What is oily skin? Oily skin is the result of the overproduction of sebum from the sebaceous glands. Uh, these glands are located under the skin surface. Uh, sebum is an oily substance made of fats that moisturize and protect the skin. Oily skin can lead to um, a greasy surface, clogged pores, and acne. So what causes oily skin? Oily skin may be caused by uh, genetics, bacteria, hormones, stress, cosmetics, diet. All of these can trigger uh, the production of sebum on the skin. Uh, daily habits can cause concern for oily skin, such as uh, touch touching of the face, uh, wearing oil-based makeup by mistake. Um, the biggest is forgetting to take off makeup at the end of the day. So let's talk about skincare prep. Um, I wanna start with a quote I saw. The quote said, makeup is temporary, skin is forever. That rings absolutely true for myself and for many makeup artists. Um, it starts with our skin and how we take care of it. For me, prep is extremely important. Prepping the skin before makeup leads to a flawless makeup application. It helps the makeup last longer and you end up using less products. Uh, when it comes to oily skin, less is more. Um, I like to use uh, lightweight hydrating products. I try to stay away from oil stripping ingredients such as sodium lauryl sulfate or sodium lauryl sulfate. Um, other ingredients to avoid are coco cocoa butter, uh, coconut oil, a hazelnut oil, petroleum jelly, um, silicones like dimethicone, artificial dyes, fragrances, as well as alcohol-based products. When shopping for products, look for ingredients with uh, proven oil finding properties such as uh, green tea, clay, uh, charcoal. But the main ingredients you should be on the look for are known as the big four. Uh, these four are dermatologists approved to beat oily skin such as um, retinol, salicylic acid, hyaluronic acid, and niacinamide. Now I'm going to share the steps and products I reach for when I prep an oily skin beauty. So step one is cleanse. Cleansing is important. Um, it helps uh, lift excess sebum. A gentle foaming cleanser is the best option for oily skin. Uh, foaming cleansers work better than creamier cleansers to remove dirt without drying the skin. Uh, foamy cleansers uh, tend to have higher levels of surfactants or cleaning agents in them. Step two is exfoliant or toner. Chemical exfoliants are acids that get rid of dead skin cells. Uh, they come in various concentration and types. Uh, BHAs are best for oily and acne prone skin, whereas toners penetrate the pores to provide a more thorough cleansing as well as to balance the complexion. Step three, mask. Face masks can treat and decrease oily skin by absorbing and cleansing the oils from the skin surface. Clay and charcoal are popular ingredients for oily and acne prone skin. These absorb sebum and have antibacterial, antifungal, and anti-inflammatory properties. Step four, serum. Serums are light, easily absorb oil or water-based liquids. Serums are made up of smaller molecules that can penetrate deeply into the skin to deliver concentration of active ingredients. Best to add a serum after cleansing but before moisturizing. Step 5. Moisturizer. Moisturizers hydrate the surface layer of the skin. Moisturizer's main skin benefit is to seal the skin locking in moisture and nutrients while protecting the skin from environmental irritants. I like to use non-comedogenic 
for oil-free moisturizers, my favorite to use is a lightweight gel. Step six, eye cream. Eye creams tend to be thicker and have a rich filling formula specifically for the delicate skin around the eye. Eye creams help to address puffiness, discoloration, fine lines, and wrinkles. I like to use eye gels that are light, have a thinner uh, texture, yet still provide the kind of powerful results that creams provide. Step seven, SPF. Sunscreen is a photoprotective topical product for the skin that absorbs or reflects some of the sun's ultraviolet radiation. Sunscreen helps protect against sunburn and most importantly prevent skin cancer. Some sunscreen I like to use are powder or gel with a matte finish. So that was my bridal skincare prep for oily skin. I hope you found today's video helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to leave me a comment down below. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next.